Every bite size, I have the same problem. Do I go and do my job? Or do I go and make a bad life choice? Do it, lady heart. Think how cool you'll look with another face tattoo. Yeah, do it. It's not like you can disappoint anyone even further. You know I'm doing the right thing. I am outside with makeup on on a Wednesday night, so that can only mean one thing. Oh, that's right. It's time to take a bite. Bite Size Burlesque is a bi-monthly show run by Anna Seeth and Emmeline Spankertz. I help out running the door, doing the music, filming the performers, and making a nuisance of myself. And that's for this loser's birthday. Whoa, 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 whoa. Weren't we birthday celebrating in the last episode? My birthday in the last show. It was, but now it's all about me, it's no longer about her. I've got the good boobs for Anna's birthday. <laughs> we'll get to that in just a second. For now, it's time to turn down the lights for another episode of Lady Heart After Dark. If you're not familiar with my After Dark series, jump on back to episode one to get yourself up to speed. I'll be once again using my backstage access powers for evil, asking sexy people the sexy questions you want answered. What the hell is wrong with you? Let's kick off the festivities by handing out compliments like they're Skittles. Hello! Your bone structure gives my bone structure. You have the prettiest eyes. Can I have them? You're like a ham sandwich of twisted pleasure. Ooh, I do like ham. My balls exploded. When you saw me? Yes. <laughs> Welcome everybody. It's a full house. Woo! And they're all here for me. Are there people who haven't been to a burlesque show before? Yes. Okay, there are some rules. And are there people who have not been to our show before? So you might find it's a little bit different. We are the weird house mister. I love to do things through interpretive dance. And what a great segue into your bite size of burlesque. Are you ready? And that's all you get. Now, where was I? You have really perky ankles. It's time for story time with Anna C. So I was having this big walk in Yorkshire because I'm a nerd and I went to the Bronte um, Parsonage. I was told that I could go through this field and I was like, oh, I'm not too sure. Cause like, you know, in Australia, if you cross someone's field, like you could get shot. Well, where I grew up, you're gonna get shot. So like, they don't know that you can go that way. And you know, just to rub salt into the wounds, I slipped all the way down this massive hill. <laughs> With sheep poo. <laughs> I'm writing sheep poo. So I had sheep poo all down my jeans. Like, I'm not even talking a little bit. Like, it was completely covered and I got lost. So I didn't know how to get home because, like, Google Maps wasn't even that good back then. So I'm walking around with mud and sh literally shit on my jeans. And I finally found my way back to the pub and I just went in there, poo and all, and just Got myself a dinner and a drink because I'm just like, you know, brilliant. <laughs> Feeling very special and glamorous. So, like, if you've had a bad day, you can think about me with shit. <laughs> Oh, my jeans. Let's talk about bad days. Since this was the point in the evening, things took a turn for me. <laughs> Let me get that. I don't know if I'll do it here. I need to do after dark. I was diagnosed with bipolar and other fun letters in 2019. I work very hard to manage my condition. I stay sober. I'm on the hard shit. Can I have a diet coke? I take my meds. Down the hatch. And most importantly, I have an incredible support network. Full disclosure, I have been having a freak out for most of the show. However, I have to give absolute props to all my girls who know I can do this, who are telling me I don't have to do this. 
but I love to do this. So let's fucking go. Unfortunately, even with the best management, symptoms can pop up whenever they want and I just have to take them as they come. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to keep filming. I took a big breather and by the time I felt okay, most people had left. Series. We're very, you're a serious journalist. I'm a serious interviewee. We are artists. Go. Do you have any STDs? Wow. I used to have one. <laughs> but then I disconnect with my phone. Good call. Good call. <laughs> Why do they call them handcuffs when they go on your wrist? Ooh. Let's be real, because they're trying to stop the tricky ha stuff that hands do. Yeah, that's too that's too much for me. That's too much for my brain. That's gonna fuck me up now. Every time I see him, I'm gonna be like, technically they're wrist cuffs. Wednesday night confessional. What do you have to confess? I will absolve all your sins, and then make more of them. I'm Catholic, so everything is guilt. I gotta be real. Uh, I'm real lazy with my rhinestone application. Look, as a lifelong sinner, um, I, I think I would break things if I started confessing all my sins like now. Stolen pizza. I'm like one of those nonnas that has stolen pizzas and put it in my handbag. <laughs> Is it in your handbag? Okay, so I'm one of those people. My little son was like, don't go out tonight, mummy, stay at home. And I'm like, if I go home with this, look at this, look at this. If I go home with Nutella pizza. Whoa, look at that. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's going to think I'm the best mum. I love that you're just stealing <laughs> food. My confession is I think autopsy scars are cool. What's wrong with you? Oh, fucking everything. Um, I have so many mental health acronyms. Like, I'm an alphabet, but arranged in the wrong fucking way. How much time have we got? Forever. Forever? Um, what's wrong with me? Um, Your eyes are beautiful green. I Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I got lost in your eyes. It, it's, a, it's a new moon, so my hazel eyes go green. Will you? Oh, Will you? <laughs> Show girl problems. Are you going to eat that? Somebody already did. <laughs> I went zero minutes without making a cannibal joke. <laughs> Listen, I would not love you as hard as I do if I wasn't scared you were going to take a bite of me at all times. Well, I'm not accountable. Which limb of yours do you trust the least? My left hand. Any particular? It's just for show. I have arthritis. I don't trust any of my limbs. I love that we never talk about that all of us just have a hand that is useless. Yeah. What's the opposite of cake? Oh, what's the opposite of cake? These fucking questions. Sadness. <laughs> Correct. What's your blood type? I'm going to say saucy. I, I think I'm O positive. Typo positive, one of my favorite bands. We love your words of wisdom the best. What do you got for us this week? I think I'm out of wisdom. Naps are the best. When, when in need, nap. She's the illegitimate child of Vivian Westwood and Lucille Ball. If they had a child. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you are. Sad nap. Angry nap, tantrum nap, sleepy nap, nap nap, pre-sleep, pre-nap snooze is also good. Um, pre-sleep snooze, pre-sleep sleep nap, all of the naps. <laughs> During interview snooze. <laughs> Words of wisdom, lay them on me, get me cancelled. Oh, okay, fuck them. Honestly, fuck them and their opinions and what you think they think of you. We've done well today. Thank you for cheering me up. Oh, you're welcome. Anytime. Love you. Love you. I'll get through this. You will, you will. You will. Sorry for you.
Once again, the importance of good friends who cheer you up and are there for you. So I started having a panic attack during um, Emmeline's performance. And I thought I was going to be okay. I thought I was going to be able to get out of it, but it just sort of kept going. Um, so, I don't want to hide that. I think everyone can have a bad night. Everyone's mental health is not always the best. And whilst I don't feel great right now, I'm through it. It's okay not to be okay. Uh, Lady Heart, thank you. We love you, Lady Heart. Yes. You're all doomed. Doomed. Doomed.